Hi, guys. I thought I'd give you a different approach this morning on how to update your submodels and your states um, for some props. A lot of times you're getting updates, and quite frankly, you don't want to do a, a, a wholesale change and update everything because you may be getting um, states and submodels from different sources, so you don't want to overwrite what you currently have, but you just want to maybe build upon it or update it. So uh, I'm going to give you a couple of approaches here. I think it works for people. That we'll, we'll show you what I mean. So I've got two common props here, Showstopper Spinner and the Showstopper Mini Tree. I'm going to focus on the Mini Tree here. So let's go. We have it on your layout. Everything's good, but you want to make sure you've got the latest and greatest, or perhaps you've got, come across an update on Facebook or on a website. So let me show you how to do it. If it's been in x -Lights already, I would suggest downloading it again. So let's go downloading it. And I'm going to type uh, Showstopper Mini. I should probably find it. Yeah. Insert the model. And yes, 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 etc. Okay. So a lot of times we say just take this and replace that one. But what happens if you've got some models in your existing tree that you like and you don't want to overwrite? So another option is to click on your existing one. And uh, go down to the submodels on the properties list here at the bottom. Submodels, click, click, and click on the import down here. Import from an existing model. And it would be the Showstopper mini tree that I just added. That would be that one. And you can say, I want to refresh all of these things or, or add if they don't exist. Click OK. Click OK. And done. You've pulled in all of the submodels from that one into yours you've refreshed it you've corrected it and you could do the similar option on the states go click on the states it's in a different spot here but it's in this section import from model and you're going to choose the showstopper mini tree and do you want to replace them yes you do and away you go all right all right so um that's how you can do it the one way i'm going to click okay here another option is what happens if um, you, you, this is, I pulled it from the download, but there's also the ability to pull it from an imported file. So for example, if you grab it from Facebook or on a website like this, um, showstopper mini tree here, somewhere in here, it's showstopper spinner, uh, mini tree. So you download it. So this might be the case where you get it from, uh, uh Facebook or some trading site, uh, you have it. So you come back here, very similar operation. You're going to click on your 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 prop that you have in your show. You're going to go to submodels, click on the triple dots. In this case, you're going to say import. In this case, you're going to say import from file because it's a file on your disk and it's going to be stored. Where did I store it? I'm hoping it's in here. No, where did I store it? Let me go back and see. Where is it? Open folder. It is in my, it's in my downloads. So let's go to downloads folder. Of course, it makes the most sense, right? It'd be in my downloads. Click open. And it's the same situation. You're going to get prompted. You can selectively which ones you want to update. If you're looking for a specific one, or you can just take a whole uh, wholesale change and update everything. So that's where you want to maybe be careful because perhaps one site may be out of date to the other. So you maybe want to pick and choose which ones you're updating. But if you know specifically you're looking for a particular uh, submodel, you're saying, oh, I know somebody on Facebook just had a really great snowman uh, hat or snowman. Uh, you can pull in just that one. Okay. So there it is. Uh, updating your submodels, updating your states, either from the downloads or from imported from a, a X model file that you've uh, uh, obtain elsewhere. Hope that helps you. Uh, it's been crazy. There is currently no way to tell um, who's got the right one, who's got the best one, who's got the most recent one. It's really a trial and error, unfortunately. Maybe some people will come up with a convention, but as it stands now, there's really no way to tell unless, uh, if I look at the submodels here, maybe somebody might think of putting in a submodel here and saying, you know, version. 2.0. Maybe that would help. Maybe it would make it messy. I don't know. Somebody somebody may come up with a cool idea that lets people know um, uh, 
what version you're talking about or what's new or etc. You got to be careful what you change because you don't want to break people's sequences by renaming uh, pro, uh, models, for example. Anyway, hope that helps. Have a great day. It's getting into show season. Hope everybody's having good luck and not waiting on props or or things in the mail. I think it's better this year than it's been in the past. Zoom room is not too busy, so come on in if you need some help. Have a great day. See you later.